This is the 369-in-1 Game Boy Advance cartridge that promises every single Pokemon Game Boy Advance game. And it contains games that are extremely rare, sought after, and expensive for people who collect for the Game Boy Advance. If this seems interesting to you, we're going to go over every single game on this cartridge, and you'll be extremely disappointed in the amount, but the 20-some games that are really good might make this cartridge worth buying. Yeah, so this is the 369 in one, and it came in this nifty little case that has uh, some weird sticker on the back that you can uh, look with a barcode reader. I'm not really sure why that's a thing, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this uh, looks very similar to Pokemon Sapphire on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, the front here is a clear indication that this is a complete and total bootleg, and uh, it does indicate that it is for the Game Boy Advance, but shocker, if you didn't know that by the cartridge, I think you got bigger problems than just buying this cartridge. It does contain around 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 20, 48 megabytes is around 2 gigabytes, and so that is a lot of Game Boy Advance games. On the back, you can see what it actually looks like because it's a transparent case uh, for the Pokemon Sapphire variety, which is really, really cool. I think it looks cool, man. I like what they did with it, but generally speaking, it is just a Game Boy Advance cartridge in all appearances and everything and how it's put together. I'm not particularly sure if this is a bootleg cartridge or a cartridge that was taken off market and repurposed. This does look very, very similar. It, it seems very, very similar to uh, these multi-purpose cards that allow you to put an SD card in them with a ton of ROMs. The only difference is this one does not allow you put the SD card in and they're just written to the flash memory on the cartridge itself. It's more similar to the Pokemon All Fairy All Pokemon Edition that I actually bought for the original Game Boy that actually contained all the Pokemon games except this one has a bunch more games on it and I will get into that shortly. So yeah it's uh Time for us to check into what games are actually on this. Let's pop this into my Revo K. I'm playing this on a Revo K, but you could play this on anything a regular Game Boy Advance, an SP, a Game Boy Micro, even, and it will work. Uh, I'm only using this because it has a uh, nice, vibrant, bright screen to record off of. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the list, and we have about 20 Game Boy Advance games, give or take. But yeah, you got about 20 decent Game Boy Advance games here, and the rest are just NES uh, games. Most of them are copies. I'm not going to bore you because it would be literally a minute of scrolling. Yeah, they're terrible games that we've seen on FC clone consoles. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump into Fire Red here and I'm going to show you exactly how this uh, game cartridge works. And it boots up the games perfectly fine. Uh, it really is just dependent on these clone cartridges where they get the ROM from. But we do get this weird message that save file is okay. You don't get that on a genuine game. It'll never say that. Um, it does display some unique messages depending on the battery. Sometimes it'll say the battery has run dry and stuff like that. But for the most part, uh, this game actually works as it's intended to. Now, uh, disclosure, full disclosure here, I have not played through the entirety of the game on here because I, I play a lot of Pokemon games, I just don't have the time to play through these. So, in the end, it may not work, but it does save, and it saves your progress, and I've done this with almost every Pokemon game. I'm going to go ahead and display that right now. Here's Pokemon Emerald. Um, now, again, all of the saved games do work, they do save, they do load up later, which is very, very nice, and it's uh, important for people who are playing through Pokemon that they be able to save their game, and you can see that here. Once again, I get a weird message in the beginning, but it does start, and it's not a big deal, which is very, very nice. Now, it does make a weird sound when it saves, so listen to this. Yeah, you heard that? That was a very strange noise, but... Again, the game works. If you load it up, it will load your game up. If you uh, boot the game up and you continue your save, it, you know, you're right there, right where you saved, despite the strange, cringe-inducing noises that you can hear. Some of the games, for example, Leaf Green by Red, actually do have the uh, uh, playback system in place to tell you what you had done after you saved the game. And once again, if you check your Pokemon, you check your game progress, nothing crazy is going on here. Everything's translated properly. It's not some ridiculous mistranslated bootleg ROM. I played all the way up to Pewter City. I tested the save file on every single game. I played through some of the games more than others and made sure that they actually worked. 
and I just tested the save files. I made sure to reset every single game. And despite the very unique and strange messages that are found within each game assuring you the save is okay, uh, these games do work. I wonder if the bootleggers actually put that in as kind of a thing because a lot of people were very concerned about being able to save their Pokemon games. It's a nice little test here. I'll run through a little bit of uh, leaf green and just show you uh, what happens. That there's there's absolutely nothing to worry about with this. As much as I don't have a stake in this, I do want to uh, show and and make sure that you guys are very aware that this is an actual Pokemon ROM running perfectly fine. There's no issues. Would you be able to trade these Pokemon to later generations? Would you be able to trade them with a regular Game Boy? Absolutely. This is a ROM and it works perfectly fine. Uh, whatever the ROM sees, it will it, allow. So if it works in the way that the original Game Boy Advance game worked, it will allow you to trade in the same way. Now, now, again, depending on the Game Boy Advance trade mechanics, you may or may not like that. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and boot up Ruby, and I already did this with Sapphire as well, so I don't think I really have to go through Sapphire just to get people to understand that these games do work. So, here we go, and yes, once again, you start a new game, and it does start. Yeah, so, there we are. Uh, there's a good old professor. Uh, explaining that you are being welcomed to the world of Pokemon and uh, it goes through the beginning intro sequence for each one of these games if you start a new game. Some of these games were actually tested when I got the game so it does seem like this is more of a uh, personalized cartridge that's been done by each individual order rather than just a multi-created uh, cartridge that gets shipped out. I'm sure they were quite concerned that the game's actually saved. So we're going to move on to some uh, other games that are included, which are very, very good games. Super Mario World Advance 2, which is just uh, Super Mario World from the Super Nintendo, repurposed and put onto the Game Boy Advance. A great addition to this cartridge pack, because who can say no to Mario? You can see that I'm going to be playing a simple bonus level here, grabbing some coins, and I've already played several levels up to this point, but I am just, once again, displaying this to you. I want you to know that the sound is great on it, the controls are great on it, everything Thing is exactly as you found it on the original Game Boy Advance cartridge. Now I know that this might seem redundant. I keep going over this stuff. I, I keep reinforcing that these are very similar to their original versions, but I have to do that because when we get clone cartridges, when we get clone game systems, for example, the Data Frog one I tested, it couldn't even competently handle NES games. So we're going to go ahead and boot up Super Mario Advance here. This is again Super Mario Bros. 2. I'm not really sure what happened with the Nintendo naming system, but they did uh, they did what they did and they, they continued to do what they do. I don't, I really gotta tell you, I just wish they had kept it as Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2 Advance, you know, whatever, instead of these weird confusing names. This also is a game that works perfectly fine. You can play through this game. Uh, this is better known as Doki Doki Panic Remastered for the Game Boy Advance, except with some Mario characters and sprites. This is a really good one. If you wanted to play Super Mario Bros. 2, I would highly recommend it. Though I doubt people are going to be buying this for Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, that said, it does come with the games, despite wanting them or not. It does come with a very highly regarded classic Yoshi's Island, which is awesome. I think uh, that's one of the best things that can be included in this. Yoshi Island Advance uh, runs natively on the Game Boy Advance because it was once again ported over and it is considered to be Super Mario Bros. World 3, Super Mario World 3, whatever the naming scheme. Even though I've stated the sound is great and there's no problems with it, I want to give you a personal listen. So listen to Super Mario Bros. 3 and you can make comparisons to the original here.
So yeah, uh, this even has Super Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, but you can tell that this is not a Game Boy player and that this most definitely is a ROM. Obviously, a collection of ROMs onto a cartridge is exactly what you're getting ROMs, but if you did have questions onto where these ROMs came from, it is most definitely the internet and somebody ripped them off of their own uh, games and then uploaded them. This is not the Game Boy Player, this is a multi-cartridge. So we're going to go ahead and move on into some NES games that are included here. Some of them are in Japanese, kind of, uh, not, also, not. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much NES games and they don't particularly run the best. As you can see, this one in particular is quite slow and it's not that good. It is playable, yes, but would you want to play any type of Contra game at a slower speed. Uh, once again, the bootleggers thought, gee, we'll just slap on a bunch of NES games and it'll look more appealing. I don't understand the thought process here because you're already pirating Game Boy Advance games. Uh, is it difficult to put them on there? And for some people who will say, well, what about the size constraints, two gigabytes? Uh, no, two gigabytes can fill up tons of Game Boy Advance games. Maybe not the entire collection, but a lot of them. And again, if you look further into this collection and you look at all the variations of Super Contra, once again they're just a variation of Super Contra. Some of the games included in this collection are absolutely terrible and have no value whatsoever, at least not to me. I wouldn't play them, I wouldn't waste my time on them. For example, Pipe Mario is actually just Weenie Guy. Somebody decided to make a ROM hack of the original Super Mario Brothers where you're just um, a hot dog fighting Koopa Troopas. Is this actually worth the money? Uh, you can pick this up from, from anywhere from $10 to $30. I would most definitely not spend $30 on it, but for the games that you do get, it is quite the good value. Uh, a lot of these games do sell quite high on eBay. Uh, the Super Mario, uh, Luigi, uh, Superstar Saga, Yoshi's Island, uh, of course, all of the Game Boy Advance versions of Pokemon being included. Uh, make this a must buy if you are not interested in getting um, a, a SD card and putting your own ROMs onto it and dealing with that and you just want this to play in a Game Boy Advance or you want to give it to a kid and you don't really care the kid loses the kid breaks it ah just buy another one off eBay not a big deal did they have to put the extra NES games on there no can you hook it up to the computer and update it with your own ROMs no uh, but are you really losing out? If, you, if this literally just said all the Pokemon Game Boy Advance games on one cartridge, it would sell like hotcakes. But you actually do get several Mario games and several other decent games that I really didn't go over, plus a bunch of crappy NES games. Uh, is it a must buy? For the Pokemon games, I would absolutely say yes. Yeah, being able to get all the Pokemon Game Boy Advance games for around $10 to $15, that's a good deal. But for the rest of the games, uh, if you're buying it for all the Game Boy Advance games that are included, eh, it's horrible. It's a terrible deal. You'd be way better off getting a flash card. So that's my thoughts and opinions on this piece of hardware. If you'd like to get it, I will leave a link in the description below. Uh, you can go ahead and take that link. I'm not affiliated. I do not get any kickbacks. I don't get any extra money for promoting this product. I bought it with my own cash and I reviewed it. And that's my review. You can check into it down in the link in the description below. I wanted to give a big shout out to all my patron subscribers who helped me to make these videos a reality. I absolutely love you guys and I wanted to just let you know I updated my patron list so if you've recently donated check out your name and you can check out the tier that you donated under. If you'd like a big shout out at the end of my videos consider supporting me on Patreon, which helped to support this channel. I make barely anything off of YouTube so Patreon really does help me to buy interesting pieces of this hardware. That, that's most definitely not going to be utilized by me, a guy who already has flashcards. So this definitely was more for you, comment section, and YouTube, and my patrons. Anyways, I've been your host, Proto Mario, and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you didn't like and share the video already, please remember to do so, because it helps me and it's absolutely free.